Now we'll move on towards our today's session, which is titled "Ikigai: The Secret to Long and Happy Life." And we have today a distinguished speaker among us, Dr. Govind Asne Sir. Dr. Govind Asne Sir is a vice principal and professor of pharmacy of pharmaceutics at Saint John Institute of Pharmacy and Research, Palghar, University of Mumbai. <laughs> Sir has completed M Farm in Quality Assurance from B V Pune College of Pharmacy, Pune, and PhD in Pharmaceutical Sciences from Jawaharlal Nehru Technical Technological University, Hyderabad. Sir has rich experience in teaching, research, training, and development, relationship management in a distinguished career spanning with over ten years of experience. Sir has successfully authored various publications and presented papers. in various international or national conferences and seminars his research interests are formulation and evaluation of bioadhesive and buccal drug delivery system formulation and evaluation of controlled drug delivery system effect of aging on the physiochemical properties of dosage forms and bioavailability and pharmacokinetic studies of drug from various dosage form sir has guided 20 20 mpharm students He had also received a research grants from University of Mumbai. Sir is a life member of various professional bodies like Indian Pharmaceutical Association, Indian Society of Technical Education, and Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India. With this short introduction, now I would like to invite our today's speaker, Dr. Govind Asne, sir. Over to you, sir.
afternoon everybody am i audible please reply yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. thank you thank you yes, so welcome to our today's science year session first of all thank you to punika for my brief introduction and uh, with this uh, we will start with the today's topic today's topic is ikigai the japanese secret to a long and happy life this is a book which is written by hector garcia and uh, francis merales a very popular book best seller which is generally written for self happiness so what we are going to study about this book it is nothing but a review i read this book four to five months back and i was very influenced by the content of the book there are many simple things which we can practice for our happiness for our health and for our overall well being what we expect as a human being now why i have chosen this topic because this is a non pharmacy topic but this is a generalized topic for all people whether they are pharmacists whether they are doctor whether they are engineer or whether they are a simple human being we are all bothered about our happiness we all concerned for our health we are all stressed out in our day to day life and because of this we generally cannot enjoy our life especially in the pandemic era from last two years this pandemic has taught us many lessons it has taken away our health it has taken away our happiness it has taken our well being what we used to enjoy earlier we could not do nowadays so it is like a stone in the biryani a small pandemic but causing lot of turbulence in our day to day life so as we go through the presentation i am just giving you some of the highlights on all this contents first we will see the meaning of ikigai what is the definition of ikigai how it is defined in japanese term then we will see what are the anti aging secrets or how we become old in a young age in 30s 40s 50s people look very old so what makes them to look old that we will see then we will see the logotherapy how we can practice ikigai for our longer and uh, better life logotherapy is a type of self analysis we will see that is a type of retrospective analysis when we could not find any objective in our life we could consult a person and that person will take us for the logo therapy chapter 4 we will see the flow in what we do the meaning of the flow is whatever we do we should do it by our heart and soul only for name name sake if we do then that activity will not give us happiness there will be no outcome from that activity and we will not get recognition so what are the successful people we see today they do their work with a dedication they do their work with heart and soul and that is called the flow chapter 5 we will see the masters of uh, longevity because japan is a country of the people where average life is more than 84 years in india it is 62 years in japan it is 84 years and in also japan there is a state called okinawa where we can find people more than 100 years it is called village of longevity or people centenarians so how they can what was their secret how they have been able to manage to live more than 100 years 
we will see their secrets then we will see the diet of japanese people what they eat because eating is also very important what we eat is reflected in our health in our mind in our behavior and so the diet is very important part of our day to day life then we will see some basic exercises gentle movements early in the morning when we wake up we should go for some physical exercise which will make us our day energetic which will fill us fresh throughout the day energetic throughout the day and we can concentrate on our job on our work and so that some of the exercises these japanese people are doing so we'll also see what type of exercises they are doing then we'll see the meaning of resilience and wabi sabi wabi sabi means imperfect nature there is nothing perfect according to japanese theory there is nothing perfect in the world nobody is perfect person no building is a perfect building even our earth is not perfect so they believe in wabi sabi in perfection so japanese people they don't build big buildings they don't have any great monuments if you see the seven wonders of the world there is not a single wonder which is in japan at least in china we have china wall in india we have taj mahal but in japan they don't have any building because they don't believe in beauty they don't believe in perfection and they have a very simple concept of the life so that we will see then lastly we will see the 10 rules of ikigai what rules they follow in their day to day life so they are most happy they are most energetic and all that things we will see now first before starting it before starting our details i want to acknowledge the authors because i have not contributed anything in the book i am just reviewing the book but without their acknowledgement because they have taken lot of efforts and they have put lot of hard work when they wrote this book of ikigai and i acknowledge them i acknowledge their hard work i acknowledge their sincerity and simplicity what they have put in this book i would like to introduce the two authors first one is hector garcia who is now the citizen of japan but he was born in spain he has worked in switzerland and finally a decade back he settled down in japan and he has studied the japanese culture in the depth he wrote many books on japanese culture and this was the most popular book on the japanese culture second author is our francis merales who is also from spain who is also a musician a translator translating japanese into english translating spanish into english and he also wrote many of the books on japan and on the self help category with this acknowledgement let us start with our presentation before starting the presentation i want to highlight this line only staying active will make you want to live a hundred years this is what japanese people think from 24 hours they are active for 17 to 18 hours in any form either they are working in the laboratory they are doing some gardening work or they are having some communal function they travel or they are doing any other activity but they are active throughout the day and it is said in japan the more you are active the longer you are going to live so they have a very different culture of working they have a very different culture of socio economic activity they believe in community they believe in celebrating all the festivals they are very religious in nature they worship their gods very faithfully and that makes them active 
so if you see on an average a japanese person will live for 84 i'm talking about an average 84 years which is the highest in the world not even america or european countries could make it possible not even norway and sweden which are rank most happiest and most healthiest country even they could not manage to achieve that 84 years of average life so let us see how they are managing definition of ikigai now the entire book revolves around the word ikigai so ikigai is a japanese word which is derived from two basic words iki means life and gai means worth or value of life so we generally have a question in our mind if i am born what is my aim and objective in the life being a human being i don't find my ikigai very easily up to 18 years i am completing my 12th standard then i will go for a basic degree i will join a post graduate course i will take a job and then i will get married and i will start my life at the end of the life nobody even realizes what was the purpose of their life why they have lived for 60 years why they have lived for 70 years what they want to achieve nobody has realized japanese people from the schooling itself everybody goes into this ikigai concept in school itself the school teachers interact with the student they find out their interest and, and that person will get its ikigai and that purpose may be anything from a simple to a complex all these purposes are favorable in japan for example if somebody's purpose is just to do or just to cultivate vegetables in the garden that may be the ikigai of a japanese person but that they will do with heart and soul so they will enjoy that gardening also they will get health benefit they will get money economic stability from that simple activity some want to become film maker some want to become cartoonist because we see we know all know that japan is a country of cartoons doremon and all that cartoons they come from japan hayo miyazaki is one of the leading cartoonists of the japan he has worked with lot of dedication and he has become successful so everybody has ikigai in their life somebody wants to become a doctor but ikigai says you become a good doctor somebody wants to become an engineer pharmacist a lawyer somebody wants to become a politician a businessman everything can be an ikigai but the difference is that some people have got their ikigai some are still struggling to find out their ikigai the earlier we realize our ikigai will make us to work better it will help us to focus more on our objective our goals and it will give us more happiness so in india we see that people try so many things and lastly they settle down on a important thing or it is a compromise thing and then we do that work only for a job sake or only for money or only for to raise the family we don't do that work with our heart and soul and so there unhappiness comes in our in our life there the failure comes in our life and so ikigai is always there we have to realize it and we have to follow it now if you see the four circles on the diagram there are four circles which explains the meaning of ikigai first circle is what you love what is in your mind people love reading people like music they love jogging they love walking or they love to spend the time with family or they want to become 
a writer a computer engineer so first thing is that do what you love and that will bring passion in your life and that should be the mission of your life people if they are doing something which they don't love then they will do what they are good at some people are good in acting some are good in sports so they take that career some are good in music so they become musician it may not be that they are loving to perform it but as they are good in that they make it as a livelihood and they want to pursue the career in that thing so if you are following that way then you are working as a profession and you are also having a passion for that third circle is about what the world needs what is the requirement of the people and so if you, if we are working for the need of the people even though we are not getting any joy happiness we are not satisfied with that work then we call it as a vocation and that becomes the mission of our life so many people we see social workers politicians ngos or some of the common people even they do lot of things for the society lot of organizations works for the betterment of the people but it was not their first choice it is not that they love it it is, it is not that they want to pursue career in it it was their secondary preference but as they found ikiga in that they continue with that and they become successful and last circle is what you can be paid for if i am a teacher i am paid for taking theory and practicals so i i will do my job i will come one hour i will deliver lecture i will take practical and i will get salary for that i don't know whether i'm enjoying it or whether it was my passion or whether it is my ikigai to follow throughout the life but in india most of the people they follow in the fourth circle they do what they are paid for nobody dares to go out of the box nobody comes out of their comfort zone and nobody follows their passion we have all seen that movie three idiots the message was saying do what you love and that is your ikigai so we have seen that engineer he left his job he became a wildlife photographer that was his ikigai so some people realizes at a very early stage in the life some realizes little bit later in their life and then they want to follow their passion so from this four circles if you have a passion for something if your mission is fixed for that achievement goal if that becomes your profession and if that do something to the society if all these forces are achieved then it becomes your ikigai we all have ikigai in our mind but we have not realized it somebody is very good in reading the novels he can become a novelist but he has never looked into that perspective it has never become his ikigai he is working as an engineer and compromising with his happiness compromising with his joy compromising with his uh, life japanese people don't do it they know what they are expected to do and they do it by so well they do it by their heart and soul that they enjoy everything what they do as a part of their activity and so in coming slides we'll see how they give the happiness to the people now the next is our, our five blue zones there is a book called blue zones written by dan butner five blue zones are the zones where we find maximum average life of the people like okinawa in the japan this is the first so okinawa is an island in a japan ogimi is a village in okinawa where you find 80% of the people more than 100 years second is ikaria greece 
where you find the life expectancy more than 90 years on a, or on an average it is 82 but you find more people crossing or reaching to 100 even 80 85 age of the people early in the morning they go to their field and they start the field work they are gardening they are harvesting of the crop and the whole day they will they will spend in the farm they will enjoy that work it is also a island Sardinia, Italy, is another blue zone where we find people around 85 to 86 years. There may be very few centenarians, but Sardinia, Italy, has also the most aged people in the world. Why? This is also a island. Nicoya Peninsula, Costa Rica, is also an island where we find people having a good life. and only the loma linda of california is a city it is not an island it has a lot of lakes but if you see from five four are islands all of you know what are islands so if you see the nature it is beautiful in on uh, on islands we don't have that much technology development so people have their crop fields they work in their fields they don't have that much technology so they spend lot of time with friends they enjoy festivals they have good bonding with the community and so it gives us energy for everybody and happiness and so everybody enjoys the life so from five new zones around the world four are islands so we can say that people who are living on islands we also have lot of islands in india lakshadweep pandavan and nicobar islands even in palgar we have sea coast but i don't think every we can actually at least 90 to 95 years when we are residing on a sea shore that i am not confident but people living on islands because they have to do lot of work on their own nobody is there to support them they have to face the nature they have to face lot of climatic changes they have to do lot of work on their own and so it keeps them busy it keeps them active throughout the day plus no amusement no mall no internet no technology so they will spend lot of time with family members they will spend lot of time with community members they will organize lot of functions and through that they start enjoying their life what we experience here is that we spend lot of time with technology whenever we get time we take we will take our mobile we go on facebook whatsapp and we spend lot of time on technology that doesn't give us happiness that only kills the time true happiness is going out in the nature spending the time with the people and making yourself active so that is the thing and only california is not an island it is a city las vegas and all that hollywood is located in the california and california people also have a long life so it is the only state in america where you can find most of the aged people so this authors the authors of ikigai book they have made a survey of all these five blue zones and they have come to a conclusion and the conclusion was that it is only the okinawa island of japan where we find most of the old people and it is the only ogimi village in okinawa where you find most of the centenarians centenarians means people who have crossed 100 years of the age around 80% of population is centenarian in ogimi village so nature also plays lot of role in extending the life of the human being 80% is in the hand of the people 20% nature supports to improve the life expectancy of the human beings now let us come to the, our second point that is the anti aging secret if you don't want to become old at an early stage if you want to be young at the age of 90 if you want to be young at the age of 95 what you should do early 
the moment you start or the earlier the best if you start practicing today you may get the result after 5 10 years and then overall it will affect your extended life so the authors they went to japan before writing this book both the authors they went to japan they went to ogimi village they interact with the centenarian people they made made some conclusions why these people are living more than 100 years and that conclusion they put in the book and from that book i am putting that conclusion on the slide so this is the observation of the authors what japanese practice what japanese do to live more than 100 years the first thing is if you don't want to become old very simple thing is exercise we all know the importance of exercise we are all health workers pharmacist is a health worker doctors are health workers and we should be on the front line to maintain our own health so health will not spare anybody if you don't exercise you will fall ill sick you will become sick even though if you are a doctor you are a pharmacist you will become sick so the only thing which will keep you young at a very old age is physical exercise walk go for jogging go for swimming play table tennis play any sport what you enjoy what you like or what you are able to do play that sport spend most of the time in the nature interact with the nature that will keep you healthy and that will make you to live longer now apart from physical exercise because we can see the effect on our body if you go to gym if you do lot of exercise after 5 6 months you can see the change in the muscles change in the shape of the body the toning of the body all that can be seen so physical growth can be monitored easily but if you want to remain young we should also act on the mental aspects mental health and so in japan they there is a very famous saying men sana in corporo corpore sana means a sound mind in a sound body mind and body they should be sound healthy if body is healthy mind can become healthy mind is healthy body can become healthy so we have to work on both the aspects exercise is not sufficient we have to go for some mental exercises which will keep the growth of neurons at the most we all know that brain it is composed of neurons and so if you do habitual activity brain will not work so brain needs exercise every day read a new book go to a new place make a new friend that makes the brain to work so if you are interacting with the same friend circle if you are doing the same job every day if you are driving the same vehicle from home to college and college to home every day that doesn't need any mental exercise it becomes a an habit and half of the brain will work on habit subconscious mind will start automatically working when it comes to a habit so we have to challenge the brain and so we can see lot of activities are there where you can challenge yourself challenge the brain to come out of the comfort zone and do some activity which will make our brain to think to act and then we can see the growth of the neurons otherwise if neurons goes on dying we all know the biology up to the age of 18 years neurons are growing on a very high level after 18 years it start aging or it start dying new comes old dies so if you want to make more neurons to grow and sustain then every day you have to do some mental exercise to your brain so you can play chess if if you love to play chess play that requires lot of thinking strategy planning the moves how to make and you will think a lot and so you will enjoy that sports you will forget everything you will focus on that activity and then your brain will become active if you are not 
if you are not knowing to play learn it you will enjoy and you will your, your brain will also enjoy after some time second activity is solve the puzzles riddles you know all newspapers they comes with puzzles try to solve it so it will make your brain to think you will focus all your energy on thinking and so neurons will become activate and your mental position or, or your mental strength will also increase play a new instrument guitar if you love music play different equipment learn different equipment make music your hobby so every day something new has to be done either physically or either mentally or do some repairing work because that also requires lot of attention you cannot dream and do maintenance work 100% presence should be there so all this mental activity they require your brain to be concentrated on single object you cannot dream something and you cannot play chess you will lose the chess sports activity so you have to be present in the current moment and then and then only your brain will do that activity you can get outcome you can enjoy and you can feel that you have achieved some happiness by doing that particular activity second thing is first was first was our active mind and with full body so keep your mind active if you want to live young at the age of 90 years you have, your mind should be active don't spend the time in gossiping don't spend the time in cursing the other people or blaming the other people don't spend time or don't kill the time utilize that time for some of the mental and physical activity second thing what you have to take care if you want to live young at the age of 90 100 you have to avoid the stress now i am not telling you any different thing we all know what is stress little bit stress is good for health like going for a new town if you want to go to a new town we don't know anything about that town we don't know the roads we don't know the people so we are little bit anxious so that anxiety will be there how i will go whether i will be able to reach within the time whether the roads are good so that makes our brain to think and then that brain will go in a little bit anxiety and that anxiety is required i'm talking about a small amount of anxiety is always good for our health if you are taking a new project if you are going to a your new friend's house if you are going to do some activity for the first time that creates a little bit anxiety and we should learn to handle that anxiety because that will keep us moving that will motivate us to complete that project that will motivate us to go to the new town settle there it will also motivate to go and take new challenges of the life so there is a very slight thin line between a little stress and a stressful life the moment you cross that line you are coming on the new area that is called stressful life now i have given the comparison of cave dwellers you know cave dwellers when human being was evolved he used to live in caves he used to go for hunting kill the animals he used to eat the flesh of the animals he used to live in the cave that time also he was having some stress and today also after 2 million years of human evolution today also we have little bit stress that stress is different today stress is different how it is different let us see our great 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 grandfather who we call as cave cave dwellers they were relaxed most of the time hunting spending the time in nature merry making live a happy life 
there was no rush to go to the office there were no colleges to attend there was nothing simple life wake up in the morning go for hunting kill the animal bring it back cook it eat it entire day merry make nothing no agriculture no industrialization nothing. today it is opposite we work 17 hours we work 18 hours and that is creating a lot of stress in our life and we are bothered of simple simple things we should don't want to do the job we will become stressful if nobody listens to me i am stressed if somebody shouts at me i am stressed if people doesn't involve me in their party i am stressful simple things has become stressful in our day to day life apart from the our what we say the uh, social life we have more stress in our working life we expect cooperation from each other we want respect small small things will go wrong and then people will shout on each other and then it will lead to a stressful condition it was not earlier second difference is old people used to feel stressful very rarely that to if they encountered with an animal tiger lion they used to think now i am going to die only that feeling used to make them stressful today anything is stressful like what we have discussed if you don't check up our whatsapp status for half an hour we become stressful if you don't check our facebook status for two days we are in a stressful condition if somebody doesn't speak to us for two days we become stressful leave it at the end of the day when you close your eyes and when you are lying on the bed it is only the happiness and your health which will matter your money will not matter how many friends you have on facebook it will not matter how many achievements you have done in the day that will also not matter when you close your eyes there will be only two things which will matter the most that is your health and your happiness if you are not getting that health and happiness at the end of the day there is need to change our schedule of the day there is need that we have to do something different there is a need that we should come out from our box and we have to do something different so at the end of the day we get what we want to achieve and lastly the high dose of cortisol and adrenaline used to make the old people or our ancestors to become anxious today we become stress we are stressful throughout the day and so that cortisol will get deposited in the body our weight will start gaining lot of psychological problems will surface health problems will surface and that will age our body that will kill the life span of our and so we have to kill the stress before it kills you so in japan you will never find people stressful everybody is happy everybody is laughing even though they are working in big big factories they have a lot of technological development don't be under impression that japanese people are only enjoying and they have lot of things to do in the nature and they are not working no today japan is number one in technology all the big brands they are from japan sony you take toyota all these are from japan you take the advancement in mobiles electronic all are from japan automobile japan is a big giant in automobile pharmaceutical sector japan is a leading pharmaceutical sector so don't be under impression that japanese are only enjoying their life no they are working and also enjoying here in india we don't find that combination either we are working or either we are happy when we are not working that combination cannot fit 
into the asian country we are not made for that combination we have to learn japanese people they work and they enjoy and so they are the most lived people the most young people on the earth now coming to the third secret if you don't want to become old don't sit for a longer time a lot of sitting will age you now this is not my concept it is the author who have interacted with those people and it is them who have come and who have made a lot of changes in the culture so how many hours we sit more than 8 hours we sit in the entire day we sit for our personal work personal work for the meeting we sit in front, front of the tv and that lot of sitting makes us to leave less somebody's mic is on i request to switch off the mic whose mic is on please switch off so lot of sitting is a problem so japanese people they do most of the work standing they go walking in their during the after the working hours they spend lot of time on the field and they see that they don't sit too much active and that will make them to live a longer so what we should do take a break go for a walk use elevator instead of your feet so climb the stairs climb down if you want to go nearby go walking don't take your vehicle replace your junk food with the fruit eating habit and that is a very big problem in india we don't like to eat healthy we like to eat multinational culture maggi dominoes pepsi coca cola all these are multinational cultures what we are following and we believe in that and we don't go for healthy diet get right amount of sleep sleeping for 8 to 9 hours is required when you want to be healthy sleeping less will make you sick or oversleeping will also make you lethargic lazy so if you don't want to be sick or if you don't want to be lethargic or a lazy person so adequate or optimum amount of hours we should try to sleep is 8 to 9 hours it may change from person to person but who has also recommended that 8 hours minimum sleep maintains our health play with children be conscious with your daily routine okay now coming to the next part is our logotherapy now what is logotherapy at the start of the session i made it very clear that if you have a problem to identify your ikigai what is your goal in your life then there are lot of counselors available victor frankl was one of the psychologists during the world war 2 who had invented this term logo therapy we should know our own as an individual i should know myself inside and outside third person cannot judge me i know my own strength i know my own weakness and so that makes us logo therapy very successful so what we are doing here logo therapy means the attitude if you want to be healthy that should be your attitude according to that victor frankl people can take anything from you but they cannot take the attitude what makes you to live long if you want to be healthy you will be healthy that attitude is developed in logo therapy if you want to survive you will survive so finding oneself finding one's own ikigai that is called logo therapy and what happens in logo therapy we have to listen the things which are difficult to listen truth i am lacking in this that is a bitter but it is a truth i have to listen 
unless and until i accept it i cannot improve so be honest with one self we can predict that i am a multitasking person i am a successful and i am like this and i am like that but inner side we know what we are we cannot hide something from our own we know the truth we know the fact and that has to be learned in logo therapy so it is based on some ideal principle like we don't create the meaning of life we discover it i cannot say that from tomorrow i want to be the richest person in the world that cannot be my ikigai because my inner interest is something different outer interest is something different it should not be like that inner and outer interest should be same so that we can discover when we go for logo therapy session we all have some reasons to live if you know this victor person victor frankel whenever a patient used to go to victor frankel he used to ask them only one question why you are not committing suicide then that patient used to get astonished what type of question he is asking but then patient will think why i am not committing suicide then some will say no i want to live for my children i want to give them good future somebody will say no i want to live for my old parents somebody will say no i want to become successful in the life somebody will say no i want to live for my family i want to live for society then victor frankel will tell him see if you are not committing suicide it means you are living for something and that something is your ikigai do go and do that job if you love it, love your children that is your ikigai if you love your parents if you want to live want to live for your parents that is your ikigai follow it and see you will get the success last one is humor laugh always smile whatever happens to you you are not alone in the world that is happening to you whatever is the reason laugh make yourself enjoyable and happy and last is we all can do noble or terrible things i can create an atomic bomb and i can create a vaccine also one is a terrible thing one is a noble thing we have to decide what we want to do these are some of the basic concepts of uh, logo therapy if you want to go in logo therapy first you should learn to accept your feelings i am angry i am sad i am depressed you should learn to live with your feelings settle down for one week then do what you are supposed to do if you are supposed to attend the classes attend it if you are supposed to travel travel if you are supposed to do practical do it live learn to live with the feelings our brain cannot remove all the feelings we have to learn to live with the feelings like what we have learned to live with the corona same thing accept the feeling and try to learn with the feelings that will heal you from inner side if you try to remove that feelings it will again come back the more you try to get rid of it it will hold you learn it live it do your job and last is discover your life's purpose so with whatever we are whatever we are feeling we should do our job and from that we should try to find out our ikigai then moving to the next slide is to find clue like what we have said all the successful people they do their job with whole heartedness they don't do it for name sake they don't do it for money they do it because they enjoy it. you take the example of anybody in japan it is common word for artisan you know artist musician is an artist blacksmith is an artist goldsmith is an artist carpenter is an artist in japan they called as takumi 
you can see this word takumi means artist so we can see carpenter you can see a potter man you can see a cartoonist this is hayao miyazaki one of the famous cartoonists of the world got three oscars for his animated movies this is a sculptor if all these people are working on something what is the basic difference they are enjoying their work and they are present in the current moment and so the outcome is fabulous potter will get a good quality of pot cartoonist will get a good quality of cartoons sculptor will get a good idol image and they enjoy it doing if you do only for name sake if you are not interested in that then your outcome will not be appreciated so it is always better that be with the flow in japan it is very important they don't count your outcome they see how you are doing the job and that is with flow that is with whole heartedness heart and soul then that will give us the real happiness in india we don't find this my interest is something different but i am working something different and that too because i am getting paid for it i am doing it that will not give us the real happiness that will not help us to live longer so be honest with oneself if you love something do it at least from apart from your work life in the evening whenever you get a spare time you do it that will give us the real happiness so this is the advantage of flow and multitask now multitasking is a good thing but that is not appreciated in japan because lot of defects are there with multitasking and so we can see the two tables giving the advantages of flow and disadvantages when you are working with flow our mind is focused and when we are not focused we are having lot of distractions mobile is a distraction whatsapp message is a distraction somebody talking is also a distraction and so our mind get distracted very easily if we are not working with the flow single task and multitasking when you are doing a single task you enjoy it but when you are doing multitasking neither you cannot enjoy it neither you cannot do it perfectly neither you can get an any outcome from that so single tasking is always preferred so at least that single task you can do with lot of patience with lot of hard work now this is very interesting masters of longevity and words of wisdom as we have seen that okinawa and ogimi that village has 80% of people who are more than 100 years so i have put some of the example which are also included in the genesis book of world records misao okawa she, she was 117 years and 27 days when she died you can see the picture and what was her secret to live longer eat and sleep and you will have a long time or, or you will live a long time you have to learn to relax that is not happening nowadays relax eat sleep relax and you will live longer second one is our maria capovilla who lived for 116 years and 347 days what was her secret aap aaye what was her ye bhi bolte hai wo madam ka message se chalta tha very near to complete 117 years jean kalmen 122 years she is the longest living person till date everything's fine she could not see at the end of his 
uh, for a day of her life she could not hear she could not walk but still that everything is fine attitude helped her to live for 122 years she is not from japan she is from other country water brewing 114 years what was his secret if you keep your mind and body busy you will be around long time active and that makes everybody to think for this long life alexander imich who lived for 111 years i just haven't died yet so he has, his name is also included in guinness book of world records carmen herrera 105 years what is what is her secret i am always waiting to finish the next thing now these people whatever we have seen we don't know much about them because they were they were not so popular they were not actors and they were not singers or musicians they were just the citizens of the ani pedi tar ithala secret takto tachatas to te pan nala nsn ithala sakata fakt thoda sa ani apla telefon mete nala tachatas rano now i am giving you two examples this examples are not the part of the book so don't get misunderstand that clint eastwood and dilip kumar they are they are added in that book no why i have given this example is that clint eastwood who is a very popular hollywood actor 91 years of the age and still he is performing acting in hollywood movies what is his secret passion for work and dilip kumar we know very well recently 3 to 4 months back in september or october i don't remember he died at the age of 99 years he was very sure to complete 100 years but just before that he died and what was his secret never complete but complete the race called life in india also we have lot of centenarians baba saheb purandar he died at the age of 100 my grandmother she died at the age of 101 years so we have so many our grandparents and grand great grandparents who have lived more than 100 years it is not that japan is only having centenarians <coughs> indians do have centenarians but now it's becoming very rare to see nowadays now lessons from japan centenarian community they are so social that they enjoy each and everything they share each and everything with their friends relatives they spend lot of time with their family and so you can see the pictures in okinawa how the community life they are enjoying and in okinawa there is a separate research center on longevity sciences you can see the message which is put on the rock sculpture and i have translated that message and that message is very interesting at 80 i am still a child when i come to see you at 90 send me away to wait until i am 100 the older the strong so 80 years of age is considered a youngest person a junior in okinawa 100 is considered as a senior and more than 100 they considered as the senior most people that is the thing because so many people are more than 100 so 80 years of person is a very young age in okinawa or in ogimi village these are the different proverbs which are very popular in japan why they live so longer the best way to avoid anxiety is to go out in the street and say hello to people simple thing we don't do it people will say that we uh, that person has gone crazy i plant my own vegetables and cook than myself that's my ikigai my main hobby is to get together with friends and neighbors laugh laughter is most important thing i laugh wherever i go simple simple things can make you to live healthy and longer so just give me another 10 minutes so i will just try to wind up now this is very important i want to show you the ikigai diet what they eat so this is the very basic things that your life and health will depend on what and how much you eat so they eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables every day this is the rarest thing in india we eat five vada pavs and lot of junk food every day we don't 
take fruits grains are the foundations of their diet we go for burgers and pizzas they rarely eat sugar and half amount of salt which is very high in india we don't follow this rule they consume very few calories 1785 in india we consume more than 2500 calories per day and these are the main contents of their food fish vegetables onion sprouts cucumber soybeans sweet potato and they also drink lot of herbal tea so this is the main or a typical meal you can see small bowls five bowls or four bowls and one tray with a fish rice tofu is the fish sweet potato and vegetable and they eat up to only 80% of the daily they don't eat 100% until the stomach is full and i think this is the biggest secret of their longevity in india we eat so much we have a heavy breakfast lunch is heavy dinner is heavy and we go beyond the capacity of the stomach and so we have big fat, we have big stomachs in india big bellies we can see the people obesity in japan obesity is not a problem so 80% secret eat up to 80% of your capacity because body requires lot of energy for repairing maintenance and if you are not giving that time and energy for the body which is utilized only for digesting the food then body will be in big problem now what we are talking about the herbal teas sampincha is one of the herbal tea which is drink every day by the japanese it is a jasmine tea from jasmine flower it reduces the risk of heart attack strengthens the immune system helps in relieving the stress lowers the cholesterol they also drink lot of green tea we all know the benefits of green tea shukuvasa is a fruit you can even see citrus fruit like orange lemon they have the fruit called shukuvasa and they prepare lot of sweets from that shukuvasa fruit so it is consumed almost daily and so they get all these vitamins beta carotene vitamin c and minerals now exercise gentle movement and longer life so we don't say that we should go to gym do the exercise and so you will live longer no by sitting on your own chair by at your own house we can perform some of the exercises before start of the work start of the day that will improve the health that will improve the spirit of unity and that will improve the quality of the work what we are going to do so first exercise is radio taiso radio taiso is a very simple exercise they do but why it is called radio taiso because in 40s and 50s it was uh, played on radio instructions were given on radio and then the children in the school all were following that instruction even the old people in their houses they were doing that exercise so let us see how it looks like or how they are doing the taiso exercise all of you can see the video please reply yes sir yeah so standing or by sitting you can do this exercise 5 to 10 minutes every day will make a lot of difference stretching improves the blood circulation so taking the hands above the ears every day is very important stretching the chest arms legs will improve the blood circulation and before st- starting of the day or by sitting on the chair also we can do such simple exercises
this exercise we used to do in our school before starting of the classes we used to have a period of physical education pt what we used to call physical training that is the reason why it was there So bending, stretching, we cannot do after a certain age. It should be started at very early. okay so after this uh, we'll go to the next type of uh, exercise is our yoga so 21st or 22nd june we celebrate international yoga day in india we don't do yoga but in japan it is followed very commonly in china almost every person do the yoga and that is called sun salutation surya namaskar and we know that yoga are of uh, different types gyan yoga karma yog bhakti yog mantra yog kundalini yog raj yog and hatha yog and this sun salutation is practiced all over the world i don't know how many are doing this sun salutation but in japan everybody is doing this as a exercise to start with the day and it is a prayer which is offered to the sun god so let us see how we do the surya namaskar or sun salutation so stretching of the hands inhaling and exhaling is very important when we do the sun salutation this sun salutation is of 12 steps when to inhale exhale and every part of the body will be activated by this one salutation third one is tai chi you may have heard this word is a martial art in japan and china so it is focusing a lot of on self defense it heals uh, your mind and body health and inner peace so there is a video but uh, you can uh, get this video on youtube also whenever you get a time just watch the video next exercise is chi gong which is done for the modification of brain waves reduces the possibility of heart attack improves our bone sensitivity uh, sensitivity and density also greater balance and efficiency of bodily functions shiatsu is another exercise which is done by the people for the treatment of arthritis so it works on the energy flow through the application of pressure within the thumbs and palms of the hands and creates equilibrium among the different elements of the body 
so we all know five elements of our body earth water fire sky and all other these are the five elements so just we will have a look on the video so we have to find out the exact center for putting the pressure with the help of the thumbs so physiotherapists they will do all this uh, treatments for arthritis patient and lot of gentle exercises will be involved so that will improve the density of the bones that will improve the working capacity of the hands and other parts of the body this we don't practice in india it is a purely japanese concept the last part is resilience and wabi sabi so wabi resilience is fall seven times and rise on eight ha so resilience means whenever we have a setback it takes a lot of time to come or to become normal so when we lose somebody when we lose our job when we are out of the disease we cannot become normal immediately so everybody has to go through that phase but in japan resilience means you should come back to normalcy immediately and so that is a spiritual concept they pray to god and they actually do lot of prayers to overcome all this uh, spirituality and other things of the normal life so serenity prayer we all know that uh, god grant me the serenity to escape the things i cannot change 99% things i cannot change so give me the courage to at least escape those things to live with that thing also give me the courage to change the things which i can and which should be and the difference or the wisdom to find out the difference between this wabi sabi is another word that nothing is perfect you can see here broken cup is a sign of imperfection in india in our house we don't use broken cup for consuming tea or coffee but in japan they consider it as a good sign because it resembles with the nature nothing is perfect in the nature nobody is perfect so it, a broken cup a old building a door a old person all are the symbols symbols of imperfect nature world is not perfect nothing is perfect nature is not perfect nobody is perfect we should not try even to be perfect but in india we expect perfection we want to achieve perfection mr perfectionist we want to people call them as perfectionist so we constant building very perfect we build our character very perfectly in japan it is not like this they don't construct big buildings huge buildings they don't believe in perfection after every 20 years they renovate their houses renovate their buildings and so in japan they believe in simplicity escape the nature whatever it is don't try to change the true nature of the what we say universe universe is imperfect so you can see here i have given the image of broken tea old building and the door all those all of you know the meaning of door people with a small height which are very rare and they work in the circus or they entertain the people as their livelihood ichigo ichi e is another japanese concept it means this moment exists only and it will not come again 
जो है अभी है दिस मोमेंट विल नॉट कम अगे सो यू हैव टू एंजॉय ईच एंड एवरी मोमेंट डोंट लिव इन द पास्ट डोंट लिव इन द फ्यूचर लिव इन द प्रेजेंट देन यू विल बी मोर हैप्पी and this is the last slide the pain rule of ikiga if you follow this pain rule at least according to the authors you can be able to live a good life i am not saying more than 100 years but at least 80 84 90 at least we can see our grandchildren great great grandchildren if god graces with that much longevity so what are these pain rules stay active don't retire after 60 in india we retire and 61 with that it should not be like that after 60 the real life begins and we should work we should have some ikigai after even after 60 years take it slow don't run don't rush go slow like tortoise and that is the reason why tortoise live for 200 years and why rabbit dies in 10 years because rabbit runs very fast so it dies in 10 years tortoise goes very slow new very slow life so it lives for 200 years that is the nature that is the truth of the universe don't fill your stomach overeating is not allowed eat up to the 80% of your stomach surround yourself with good friends now in india this is very rare thing because after 530 you don't have any friends everybody will be in in their own houses and you have to find a friend but be your own friend and then you can enjoy the life get in shape for your next birthday remember we have to celebrate our 100th birthday so we have to get in shape to celebrate that birthday smile a lot it costs nothing it is free and this is the only rare thing of human beings that human beings can smile and laugh imagine if animals could smile and laugh how the world will be it will be very disturbing if animal is laughing we cannot expect the dog to laugh we can expect a human being to laugh reconnect with nature so go out from your technological world sit with the nature spend some quality time in the nature take your friends do some exercises enjoy the nature that will add value to your life thank you everybody for small and big things thank you our father mother brother sister friend whoever has helped you in a day thank them live in the present moment this moment will not come again and last is follow your ikigai it may be a very simple or it may be a very complex and listen until you have ikigai in your life <clears throat> some purpose in your life you cannot enjoy the life you cannot live longer so with this i come to my come to the conclusion of my today's topic thank you everybody so i am thankful to the management to the principal madam to the organizing committee mr tanveer punika and uh, pradnya for arranging this uh, webinar and all the participants that who had attentively attended my webinar i am sure that everybody was very attentive during the seminar so thank you everybody let's start with the day with the ikigai thank you thank you one and all thank you sir good evening everyone i am ms pradnya patil student of master of pharmacy in quality assurance i feel privilege and honor for me to get the opportunity to extend the vote of thanks for this 12th session of sanshia on behalf of the st john institute of pharmacy and research palghar i would like to express our profound gratitude to the speaker of today's session dr govin asne sir to share their valuable experience with us sir enlightening us with their commendable talk on the subject ikigai the secret to long and happy life 
sir lightly highlighted on meaning of ikigai anti aging secrets the ikigai diet and exercises and the rules of ikigai we are grateful to our chairman mr albert isuga sir for his encouragement i thank our principal dr savita tauro ma'am for their valuable support kindly fill the feedback form for today's session link is provided in your individual whatsapp group your opinion is valuable for us to improve session organization last but not the least i thank you all participant who attend the webinar thank you so much for being with us have a great day